What's up my friends? We're back with another AliExpress unpacking video and this one's going to be a little bit different than the other ones because we have an official scam in this pile right here. Recently I have come across a couple scams and luckily I got my money back on the first one and this one's a low price one so it shouldn't be too much of a problem but I'm going to show you what it is. Before we open up all these I just want to get straight to this first one so we can see what's going on. So you see here we have RG35XX color light purple 2024 quantity one. This was listed for around eight bucks, a little under a little under eight bucks. It was about seven bucks, and a similar thing happened really recently with the um, RG405V, where it was being sold for like fifty bucks. And if you see here, this is my order right here for the the 35XX. And look, now it goes to 3545, but it was 611. It was legit. I know the little brick game things that they tried to do the bait and switch on. This was for the legit purple one, and I knew it wasn't going to come in, but here we go. So let's open up the package and see what they sent instead of the 35XX. And then after that, we'll just continue on with the other unpackings. And then after we're finished with the whole video, I will submit this to AliExpress for my refund so what kind of brick game will we have for this the last brick game i got for the the rg 405v flew right out of my hands <laughs> this is it right here it's in chinese i didn't have to return it but oh i just turned it on check it out once you can kind of figure things out, it has all the basic brick game games, the racing, the tank game, Tetris, all that. And A, for free, I can't complain, but it's still a little confusing. I know that's on and off, and that's reset. But, but anyway, let's turn that off. This was what came instead of an RG405V. So that was a $50 order, and I, they refunded me right away, so I give them credit for that. But this one right here, the AliExpress, you guys got to do something about these scammers, man. They're on there. They're, that The RG405V is still on there for 50 bucks. Every day I see a new listing. So this is happening to a lot of people. So here we are. RG35XX, scam, $7. Obviously, we know it's not going to be $7. But that's what it was listed for, and that's what I paid. So let's see what we get. Because I paid for it. 35XX. And it does not feel like a 35XX. It feels like the exact same game I just showed you. And I'm pretty sure it is. What do you know? It is. Let's see. Is the other one in English? On the cover, it is. Okay, but see the buttons and everything on the inside are still in Spanish. Exact same game. I mean, sp in Chinese, sorry. I live in Southern California, so yeah. Look at that. So this is what I got instead of RG35XX. This really cheap, super cheap brick game that's not even in English. I did not order that. I do not want that. And I will be requesting a refund from AliExpress. But while we're here right now having fun with cat hair and piles of packages, let's just open them up. Nothing here is too crazy exciting. Some of the stuff isn't even game related. I think I have like a beanie in here and um, something else. But I do have what I think right here is a Pal Kitty X39 Pro, which isn't an amazing console, but I've been seeing it pop up in front of me so much. And I know there's no custom firmware for it, but we're just going to check it out and see what it has to offer. This pack has already been kind of open here. We have one thing right here, and I know what that is. And this right here, I got another one of these because I have a couple different uses for them. I don't know what that jingle was, but this right here is an extendable Joy-Con rail for your, for your mobile phone, and it works great. Um, I've showed it to you in another video. I'll link that video in the description below. We're going to skip that now and move on to the next one. Let me try to feel what we got here. This is just a little beanie, I think. Some kind of beanie that I'm probably going to slice into as I open it. Yeah, it has like, has like trees on it. Kind of chill. I like to go camping. I like the outdoors. I'm not always behind the screen. We'll open that another day. Hey, pretty cool looking. I like it. Alright, so 
what do we have here? So we know that we had that Mixie Hyperion Pro that had the GameCube style look to it recently. And the thumbsticks were too slippery on it. It had one gray thumbstick and it had one yellow thumbstick, which is what GameCube looks like. But I couldn't find any gray Skull & Co. Thumb thumbstick grips. But I did have those purple ones. And someone did mention to me in the comments, how would it look with the purple ones? So here we go. Here's the Nixie Hyperion Pro with the, I guess the batteries are dead right now. But yeah, with the um, purple purple. So instead, I, I couldn't find gray, so we'll leave purple on there. And we'll put yellow over here. That's what I'm going to do with this. So you can see what it'll look like. It'll look pretty cool, purple and yellow. If I could find gray for the full size stick, I will. I do have gray for a Joy-Con. It was like a GameCube style um, thing for Skull & Co. But hey, we'll try this on another video and we'll put it back on the Switch and just see how it looks. It's gonna feel great, I already know that. I already know it's gonna fit because they're, they're Steam Deck grips and the Steam Deck purple ones fit perfectly on there. So despite the Nixie Hyperion Pro having those super slippery plastic sticks once you have those grips on they're great they're amazing they work perfectly fine i guess we'll save the x39 pro for last this this feels really soft too i'm not sure what it is it might be another kind of clothing article i really don't remember but yeah that's a little annoying these scams that just keep popping up on aliexpress i know so many people they don't have the ability to, to film or don't think ahead of time to film their recordings before before uploading, or I mean before not uploading, excuse me, let me try to get this cat hair off here. Before just opening their things that you should they need to record it, otherwise they're never gonna be able to do their return and successfully prove that they didn't receive what they said they were supposed to receive. And I've learned my lesson. So now, oh you know what this is? These are hall sensor switches, mechanical keys keyboard keys now we're gonna put these in one of the hot 42 fight pads I just thought it'd be a kind of a kick to see hall sensor keycaps just something kind of random something totally different I have no idea how they'll feel I'm not even up to date with what's going on with the other different switches the different colors and which ones are best so maybe some of you guys can let me know in the comments what you know about keyboard switches what do what what you think a hall sensor <laughs> keyboard switch would feel like and we'll do a little swap out in another video I'll pull out the um, we'll decide which one of the hot pads we want to use I got three different ones we could choose from for this that might be kind of fun all right so that's that and last but not least we got what I believe to be the pal kitty r43 pro a system that has a color that I really like is there something about the purple that they that they they came up with on this transparent model. It's different than the other purples. I've seen it in the videos. I have an X39 Pro box from the past where they sent me a RGB30 motherboard replacement for my uh, messed up left uh, L button. But anyway, so I see this on AliExpress every single time I browse and I know the reviews are not great for it. I'm just hoping that it can be a cool little Game Boy Advance system because I don't even know if you're going to be able to scale your games. And it is widescreen. You got the D-pad at the bottom and I hear it's not that great. But you got a thumbstick there. You got your triggers right there. Thumbstick works okay for a lot of D-pad. I mean for a lot of Game Boy Advance games. So this might be a cool little Game Boy Advance. Let's just take, take a look at it and check it out. First real quick, the box. Handle interface. Oh, that's something I remember I liked about it. I have a 4x3 monitor or a monitor that can be changed from widescreen to 4x3. And this has HDMI out with two USB-A slots. So this can be consoleized. That's pretty. That's a pretty cool feature in itself. So I do have the ability to play things not stretched as long as I'm doing it externally on a monitor. So you see there, everything we have, L1, L2, power, Type-C, HDMI out. Headphone jack, volume, R1 and R or R2 and R1. All right, this is my first time seeing it in person, you guys. So I've, everything I've seen has been through other people's channels, like my man Stubbs. That guy makes me laugh. I like him. All right, so there it is. the The light in here isn't really shining on it bright enough to really give it the look that it has. Guys, maybe if I bring this closer, it's um, it's a really nice purple. 
you know, I used to not even be a fan of purple, but lately I've been I've been kind of digging it. All the different types of purples. And these lights pick up like every speck of dust that comes up on this thing. So it is what it is. We got an X39 Pro manual here. Real real uh slippery. Just kidding. And basic. That's all Chinese. Okay, so we got our basic English settings right here. And I just shut off my light. Or you know what? There's gotta be some kind of timer that's going on with these things because they are just bugging on me. It doesn't even want to start back up. Um that's how we do it here. We keep it real. Just feel free to read through this if anybody's interested in the X39 Pro. X39 Pro manual if there's something you're curious about right there and for the hell of it even though i don't know what i'm doing let's start it up and see if there's any life in it it's an old handheld it's been around for a while now i think this color is a little bit new i think they had some other colors before but man i really like this purple it's it's deep you can't really see too too well through it it's just kind of kind of nice looking all right so there's power And I believe it's dead. Oh, no, there it goes. It says, welcome. All right, let me zoom in. Welcome, everybody. All right, so it kind of looks like a Pandora's box style layout. Let's see if we have any background music going on. No, it's at 40 right now. Let's bring it down just in case something does pop up. All right, so it looks like we're in some kind of um, arcade system right there it says list type i press so i press the trigger okay so you can go to a straight list i think this is just a list of everything there is type okay so here's where we got famicom game boy advance capcom system super famicom mega drive playstation neo geo game boy color game boy final burn advance or i mean final burn alpha is that it for them? Yeah, it just loops through history. Okay, nothing's been played. Nothing's been faved. See, okay, search. And then file. Okay, so you can go into your different files here. Back to list. And then, you know, let me see if I can just go up and then see. All right, so we got 5,622 games in here and it ends on Silent Hill. We got Crash Team Racing right there, or Crash Tag Team Racing. I wonder if that's the same one. But um i i remember hearing other people say the d-pad felt kind of mushy it doesn't feel mushy honestly that's not mush there's there's a little click to it it's a shallow travel d-pad and i can't say that you know what yeah it's mushy when you try to roll it but maybe we can try getting into some kind of street fighter here yeah let's just try that i'm not gonna try getting crazy with the you know maybe i can um let me go into something that will allow me to map my buttons and see if we have it. Street Fighter in Super Famicom. Is there a way to search once you're in a system? System setup, collection, B, return. Um, so can I go? Okay, it's in alphabetical order, so we'll just do that. Right and left. To me, the D-pad doesn't feel bad in regards to pressing left, right, up, and down, like for selections. But we'll have to see how rolling attacks feel and things like that. How it'll work in a beat em up or a shoot em up that'll matter when it comes to that that shallow pivot all right here's street fighter 2 what else do we have two let's just do turbo all right we got the standard nintendo layout b a y x and it is widescreen so um let's see if there's a way to let me see if i press menu here will that do anything okay settings sound Oh, that's a bummer. So it doesn't look like um, there's any kind of aspect ratio. Yeah, from from my uh, limited uh, research on this, it uh, didn't seem to have an option to adjust aspect ratio. So, hey, it could be used as a little console, or you can tolerate some stretched Super Famicom arcade games and stuff. Game Boy Advance will look all right, though. Or if you guys have a monitor that allows you to... Bring it to 4x3, you plug some controllers in here, some wired controllers, and play that way. Let's just see how well it plays Super Nintendo, because this right here could be 
Uh, I hear some glitchy glitching going on there. This could be a mini mini little console that plays everything up to maybe PlayStation. So yeah, that, 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 that. And it looks like it's a mono speaker, so let's just take, whoops, that. Let's just take that to mono and press start. I'm gonna try to use this D-pad here. We're gonna see if we can pull off some Shoryukens, Hadoukens. I should probably see if there's a way to make this screen brighter, but that's probably something I should have done in the main menu. So we will try that after that. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. Start. Yeah, there's a little bit. The sound is not, not sounding great. So this thing was about 25 bucks on sale. It's normally are like around 32. <laughs> I don't know if that's a crack or a hair. Is that a cat hair? It looks like a little like a mold line in the plastic. What do you know? Who are we fighting for a Zangif? All right, I didn't, I didn't get my first fireball off or my second. I got my third. Not good. I'm getting like one out of four. Let's see how the diagonals go. Not, not good. So, I mean, it's like I'm testing Street Fighter, like everybody wants to play Street Fighter. That might not be the case. This could be great for puzzle games and other things like that. I can't say for sure yet. The screen is really dim right now, and I, it's like I want to get out of it and get it to some settings to see if I could just, just get that brighter first. Let's see if I can get sure you can. I didn't mean to do that. Tried to do a spin kick there. There we go. All right. So just like I say with everything, pressing harder and being a little more intentional helps. Obviously, we wish the D-pad was up here. Most of the games you're going to be playing on this thing are going to be D-pad centric games. They should it should be up here. But I really don't mind it there, and I kind of like not having another stick over here because the the majority of the games we play on anything like an M17 or anything like that. You're not going to be using that stick. You might on an M17 with your PlayStation games, but and maybe some other ones. But I I would choose an M17 over this. I'll tell you that it's got stack triggers, but I like the way this one looks, and I always have, ever since I've seen this purple one. And you know, the moves can be pulled off. It's just another one of those things that they don't just hand it to you like make it super easy. Some of those, some of those uh, D pads that I've been messing with lately. Wow, I could have swore I like it just kicked directly through them right there. Yeah, some of those clicky D pads lately have made pulling off the special moves like ridiculously easy. But then the the supers almost impossible. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's playing a little bit slow. I, but Street Fighter always played a little bit slow on Super Nintendo. Come on, no, I don't want them to kick me in the head and beat me. I got people watching. But he's just jumping like a fool. And I'm just throwing fireballs like a fool. Oh, he's got less. I win. Come on. Yeah, see, he's proud. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so we could save our game. We can load our games. Settings, we already saw that. We can return to the game. We can restart or exit. Let's exit. Let's get out of there. Um, I really don't even know what to check. It's sad to say you know that we're gonna go into Game Boy and you're gonna be playing you're gonna be playing Tetris completely stretched. But again, if you ever want to output to a monitor if they even included Tetris. And I should check to see if they um if they're afraid of Mario. We'll check that next. Did it, it didn't even load Tetris. Okay, so Tetris doesn't load. Tetris 2. Even though I don't play Tetris 2. Alright, yep, it's stretched. I'm not going to bother with it. Okay, so if there was a way that somebody... Pal Kitty probably just won't let it happen, but come on. Aspect ratio, guys. What's going on? If we can get some custom firmware, this would be a cool little device. It's pretty low profile. I like the fact that you can plug straight up wired controllers in. No adapters needed. It's USB-A. You don't see too many handhelds with USB-A. Um, I don't know what I just did. I searched and found something. So, all right. So here we are again. Um, the best thing we could look at on here would be Game Boy Advance. 
in regards to the size of the screen because we don't have any PSP on here. Uh, let's just see if there's something worth trying out. It's kind of hard to. Um, did I see Altered Beast? Yeah, you know what? Like uh, Wicked Gamer and Collector would say, Beefcake Mode. Let's see if we can get a little good, little Altered Beast going. Yeah, there's like this little bit of a line in between Y and B right here. It looks like a hair, but it's the mold. It's the plastic mold. I have a controller that has a similar feature. Oh, I forgot to check to see if uh, if I can adjust the screen brightness. But let's just start this. So look, Game Boy Advance does not look bad on here. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit stretched, but I can I have no problem with it. It's also got a bilinear filter going. Wow, I don't think I've ever played um, Altered Beast on on Game Boy Advance before. You know, I've played on Sega Genesis. Okay, you can still jump, but give me give me some beefcake mode here. Yeah, it's it's a different feeling for sure. I'll tell you that they move a lot quicker. It's kind of funny. Joystick works too. Let's play with the joystick for a minute. You know, let's play the D pad the way we should. There we go. What was that? So, it's a different form of Altered Beast. As those of you who know probably know and are like, yeah, I know, shut up. But this is new to me. Damn, she's just hacking me up. Where are those? So, I should be getting those like wolves that, that hold the orbs. Because I'm a weak little guy right now. I look like Kid Icarus. Uh, look, at I can't seem to. Oh, was there something special there? I did no. Oh, well, look at that! He jumps high. You know what they did? Oh wait, this is Game Boy Advance. This, this. I hope this is mapped correctly, but his high jump. That's how I can get up. It's R. <laughs> One kick. This little punch is like. Not even worth using. So you press down to do that up kick. Oh, see, that is a problem. That's another thing in games. When they throw a menu button right next to an action button, whether it be on the left or the right, you see what I just did? I hit B and I hit menu and it took me here. There's some games, I mean, there's some controllers for the Switch that do that, that take you straight out of a game. You're on an online game and you do this. Dude, it's so frustrating. But at least it doesn't end your game here. You can continue. But you know what? I am going to exit it. So we got a little look at we got a little look at that. Let's see. Um, are we in alphabetical order here? What can we try? Let's try some Mario Kart, I guess. Whoops. That doesn't work. So, it's not the most intuitive um, console. But at least it's an... Oh, we got some F-Zero there. At least it's um, in alphabetical order. And you got a decent list of games here if you wanted to just clone this clone this uh, card and not have to deal with downloading games you can do it that way okay March M-A-R-C M-A-Y oh they're afraid of Mario you gotta be kidding me are they? they are jeez pow kitty come on guys do you hear that that, that doesn't sound like a membrane it, I'm not yeah it's a membrane it's just like a thin one almost sounds like a mechanical switch that's pretty crazy man that they're they're so afraid of mario that they can't even put a mario game in here i could do um uh f-zero let me let me go back in for, before i do f-zero though let's just see real quick settings is there anything in here to brighten this screen favorites search file and okay so this, this is another way to get into our folders and see see what we have in each of our game folders. It's kind of good to be able to just know which game folders are on the card. But, alright, so that's pretty crazy that there's no option to make the screen any brighter. That must be one of the reasons that this thing is not talked about. And if it, if there is a way, if there's things that I'm not aware of, or if there's actually some custom firmware or something like that that you guys are aware of, let me know. Fill me in. Because I like the way it looks. 
And I will play some Game Boy Advance on it once I get some of my Mario games on there. But that's kind of lame that they... I'm just... I'm so tired of them just... Like, they put everything in but Mario. Like, as if Mario is going to sue them directly. A little Astro Boy real quick. I got one of my... One of my uh, videos got demonetized for playing an Astro Boy video in it. By accident. Just seeing what, what extra was loaded on one of the cards. I forget what, vid what video it was. And there was an Astro Boy kind of commercial on it. And I played it and I let it play through. Thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> Later I realized that they canceled... Um, the monetization for it. Not like it was making any money, but it was just kind of funny to see. That was the first time that's happened. Got demonetized. Okay. Wait. Sorry, I'm lacking, guys. I'm not going to be doing too many videos in the next couple weeks because I got a lot going on. I apologize for that. It's going to go easy for now. But yeah, I wanted to really just get this video done for that first that first issue with the RG35XX scam. So I'll let you guys know in the pinned comments. And I'll probably talk about it in my next video. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll get refunded for it. Especially because I have documentation with this video. I'll have to cut that first clip at the beginning and just send it into them. I'm just going to start. Start. Can we just start? I don't, I don't even remember how to play. I know I played this in one other version, one other, uh, this is a cool little side-scrolling beat-em-up. I need to, I need to learn how to play this game because it's actually fun. Okay. Like, he's got, he's got some, he's got, he's got moves. But I'm pressing him at the wrong time. Definitely a game I missed out on when I was younger. And I like my beat-em-ups. Normally I like my 2.5D type beat-em-ups. But this is cool too. It's actually a fun game. And look, it doesn't look bad on here. The screen doesn't look bad. I couldn't play this outside. I'd say if this is as bright as it's going to get. I do have a bunch of bright lights. Okay, double forward makes me fly. Um, I do have a bunch of bright lights shining on this thing right now though. So if you're playing in regular normal a lighting situation, you're not going to have a problem. But for you to not be able to dim it in bed... Or, or raise it for when you're outside. That's just kind of a feature that, that's lacking that should be there. But hey, it's the X39 Pro. It's super cheap. It's only, But the, the thing is, you can get the M17 for the same price or cheaper, and it's better. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, sorry, Pal Kitty. I really do hope you guys start working with, with me one day, but... Um, I don't even know who runs an M17 and the M18, but, but they're getting things done. I mean, they made things at least able for us to throw some custom firmware on it. And it's a super comfortable console. That first uh, <laughs> that first bezel they chose was something. I don't know why they chose that, but hey, I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited that I have the very first one with that ugly M17 logo on it. I got another one without that bezel that's just got the kind of the gray border and it does, it looks so much sleeker. But I still have to um, flash the custom firmware to it. And if anybody's um, wondering what it is, it's called Spectral Elect. And I'll be doing a video on it real soon where um, 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 a hacker, someone on Discord named Spectral Void, he probably has a um, YouTube page that I just can't, can't think of at the moment. He created... He created Spectral Elect um, for for the um, M17, and then Hackaround, the other guy, he did Amber Elect for um, for the E6, and I think they're both forks of Amber Elect. But you know, the the one for the E6 was done from a from another fork that he had kind of done for the 007, if you know what that is, a funny looking Android vertical console. Um, but anyway, this thing's not going to get any custom firmware. I don't recommend you buy this. I recommend if you're going to get something like this, something that, that is capable of what this is capable of, get the M17. It's comfortable. It works well. Try to get the one without the big ugly bezel, unless you like it. And then, um, you know what? We're going to stop right now. So I think that's it for this. We'll do a video real soon with the E6 when we have everything set up straight. And that's going to be with Amber Alec by Hackaround. 
and then we're going to do another one with spectral elect on the M17. And then from there, whatever comes next, I'll try to keep on with it. Just give me a week or two, guys. I appreciate you hanging. Thanks. Love you. Peace.